Welcome back to the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show. Last Saturday, it was the MSU men who tipped off in their rivalry showdown against Michigan. And now seven days later, it's the women's turn to see what they can do against the 17th ranked Wolverines. Growing up in Traverse City, Susie Merchant's allegiance has always been with the green and white. And after splitting their two meetings last year, we discuss what she's expecting out of the first meeting of 2023. Well, every year the goal is to win the state, beat Michigan, but Every year, too, there's some differences, and I would say maybe the biggest difference this year for Michigan is they no longer have Nas Hillman. What's it going to be like going up against them without her? Well, she was probably everybody's favorite um, player in the league, to be honest, just her work ethic. Even if you were a rival coach, you really appreciated how tough she was, how hard she worked, what she brought to her team, the way she carried herself. I mean, she was a class act on and off the court. And you just appreciate kids that give so much to the game and are passionate and, and, and always stayed in the fight too. Like if things didn't go her way, she found a way to make the next play. They obviously have other kids that are very good now to make nothing quite like Nas. And I'm not sure there'll ever be another Nas. Like, I'm not sure there'll ever be another Ariel. You know, everybody's got their own uniqueness, but um, you know, it's it's a rival game. It's something we we aspire to win. And I know they come, they bring theirs and we bring ours and records aside, let's go to war. You guys too could probably say something similar with not having Nia Cloud in a part of it this year as well. So when you take those two pivotal players out of it, who do you you think is going to be the person to step up for you guys in this game or will relish in being that person? I've seen us come together. I think our chemistry has really started to gel a little bit more. I've shortened the bench a little bit. Some kids have gotten healthy that were a little, you know, not 100% yet. Um, you know, so I kind of like, I mean, K-Mac kind of has her role as a scorer. You got Tilly who can really shoot it. I think Moe's as gritty as the day is long. You know, Ju's coming around. Ty's been playing great. Um, I just, I see kids contributing in ways um, consistently now. So, you know, who will bring it? I hope everybody brings it in their own way. You obviously growing up in the state, Traverse City, playing at Central Michigan, but how would you best describe, first of all, the rivalry in general? Not from a women's basketball standpoint at first, but just in general. No gray. I mean, you're either a Spartan, boom, ends there or you're a Wolverine boom ends there. So I think that like you grow up in the state and you know based on your family and friends what side of the fence you're on, you know, and there's no gray and there's, you know, I think it's been a healthy rivalry. I think as times have changed with social media, maybe it's gotten a little more aggressive than it has in the past. From a fan perspective, I think fans have gotten a little like more aggressive because they can verbally put it out there now. So I think the rivalry is heated. Always the same with coaches and players, but I think where it's elevated a little bit. But I would say growing up in this state, I knew my friends who had a Wolverine, a Go Blue family, and I knew who the ones were a Go Green family. A lot of people too always want to know what the relationship is like between the two head coaches in this rivalry. So how would you describe what your relationship is like with Kim barnes -Arinko? Yeah, I mean, we've been friends. I mean, I, I when we play, it's very competitive, no question. But I think the one thing, you know, she's a, She's a mom. She came up the same way I did in terms of small college, kind of built her way up. So we have a lot in, we probably have a lot more in common than we don't. Um, we've had a couple issues that we've, you know, with different players in the past that we've been able to like connect on and kind of help each other through some of the tougher times when, you know, the challenges that we're facing us in our individual programs and coaches and just kind of reach out. So I think it's a friendly, you know, healthy rivalry. I wouldn't say that uh, there's any animosity there. I mean, I'm I'm happy when she does well to a degree, you know, because obviously it's good for our league. But you know, we're we're certainly we're in it to win it, and um, you know, our players are just as good as hers, and we're just gonna go go battle it. But there's a great relationship there. You've been to a lot of different venues throughout your career, arenas. What is it like when you step out onto the floor at the Chrysler Center and you're waiting for tip off? Well, you know, I'm not a big fan. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of other places I'd rather be. It's, uh, you know, a two hour business trip and then we get out, you know, it's kind of you're in and out, but I'm sure they feel the same way. They don't like to be in East Lansing and in Breslin Center too long, but, you know, they do a great job there. I think they, uh, 
you know, they've really got the floor seat stuff going. Um, they promote our game, and when it's a, certainly a weekend game, that helps matters. I think that really brings people in, and it's good to grow our game that way from an in-state perspective, and we'll have buses come down, and it'll be a really good crowd that way. Michigan has been promoting this game as the crash at Chrysler, so you know the atmosphere is going to be off the charts. And one of Susie Merchant's favorite memories actually comes from back in 2012 in Ann Arbor when Portia Poole hit a buzzer beater to beat the Wolverines. All right, the talk between Michigan and Michigan State doesn't stop with the women's basketball team. This weekend, MSU's wrestling team is also going to collide with Michigan in one of the most anticipated duels between the two in quite some time. We'll We'll see you soon. Closed captioning sponsored by Hearing Life, helping Spartans love their ears with 41 locations across Michigan. Go to hearinglife.com to take a free online hearing test.